Postal Union members are raising the alarm about new leadership at the U.S. Postal Service. Eyewitness News reporter Trang Doe is in Center City. She's been speaking with local postal workers. Hi, Trang. Hi, Jess. Well, postal workers I spoke to say they have really tried to keep up excellent customer service, even in the midst of this pandemic. However, that these planned changes will no doubt negatively impact service. We always had the mindset, get the mail out efficiently, on time, every day. But a new plan for the U.S. Postal Service may make that goal even more challenging. A recent memo from President Trump's newly appointed Postmaster General Louis DeJoy outlined some cost-cutting measures that he hopes will help pull the long cash-strapped agency out of the red. The proposed changes include closing post offices during lunch. Right now, windows are staffed throughout the business day. Nick Caselli, president of the American Postal Workers Union Local 89, says he believes it's important for the hours to remain convenient for customers. I'm on lunch. I want to do postal business. I go to my post office and now it's shut down, which has never, ever happened in the past. We've always been open, you know, our whole business day from 9 to 5. DeJoy is also eliminating overtime. Postal workers say the agency is so short-staffed, they often need to work late to get people's mail out on time. Caselli says customers will suffer the most. There's medication, you know, there, there's social security checks, and there's packages that people, you know, machines, medical machines that get delivered through the mail. Now they're going to sit. Long lines and delays at post offices are already common due to the pandemic, but people we spoke to say they recognize that workers are doing their best under difficult circumstances. I love that we, like, know our mailman, and our, our home mail has been pretty good. I think all essential workers are being mistreated right now. I hope that that doesn't happen or we can figure out a way to take better care of them and give them overpay and for their time and risking their lives. And some are criticizing the president's choice of DeJoy as postmaster general. He is a major Trump donor with no prior postal experience. However, others say that his experience in the private sector is exactly what the agency needs to become financially solvent again. But for now, we're live from Center City. I'm Trang Doe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Yuki, I'll send it over to you. Okay, Trang, thank you for that.